Now we need to melt chocolate and butter over a low heat. I don't know why it's saying low heat, because if you're heating something and you heat it low, then it'll just take longer. So I'll just put up the heat full and we will throw some butter in. We need 175 grams of chocolate, so that should be fine in there. There's no point in cutting that off. The next is butter. Butter from good old Kerry. Very expensive butter. And now we will melt the chocolate and the butter. Very nice, very nice. You can see the, the heat really working there. That's a secret chef trick. The hotter, the better. It's looking pretty good. Why are you backing up, huh? You know the old saying, if you can't stand the heat, get out. Now some rude camera people might tell you to use a spoon, but I know better because I'm the chef. And as you can clearly see, it's working. We have successfully melted chocolate and butter. They said I couldn't do it, but there you go. Now you may be thinking, Kevin, you sure look professional in this apron of yours, but that's not the only reason I got it. Lord knows I do not need to prove that I'm a professional. But this has handy egg compartments, so I crushed one earlier, and we'll just take it out and use those for our mix. I've just the yolks in there, so get that egg into the mix. This... This didn't... this didn't uh, work quite as... quite as planned. Okay, so I'm gonna have to blend three eggs and three egg yolks. That means I have to separate the whites from the egg yolks. I've done it before, you all know I'm a master. That looks great. Fuck! Watch this, this is a neat little trick that I... oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hold on. Hold on, this is fine. This is fine. This is how you usually crack an egg. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. It's fine. That's one down, only two more to go. Ireland has a knack for taking a series and making a worse version of it, but it's based in Ireland, so we all watch it anyway. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened here. I'm on their... Ah! Ah! I'm injured. I can't record today. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hold on. It's not focusing, but I assure you there is a semi-visible mark from me hitting my hand there. So if you could like and subscribe, it would just make me feel a lot better. Oh, they're sending him to Cork. Fantastic. We'll take care of him. The traditional family, big on all Catholic values. Oh, very good. Mary's gonna slaughter him. I could see it in her eyes. The rules are quite straightforward. Out of the Ten Commandments. Oh, John is not gonna take any shit from them. Mom, I'm Japanese. They don't care about you, honey. Oh God, get down, everyone! <laughs> everyone dives for the cover. Oh, they got him down in the pit with his his birthday cake and everything. Now this is hard hitting journalism. Lads with hangovers in the morning after too much drink come eat to work. Well, if I need to do it, I I blacken their ass with that. <laughs> <laughs> He's dangerous with that feckin' stick. He's right. If you come in and hungover, you should smacked with the sheep stick. Wait, are we live? Yeah, we're live. Oh, okay, hi. <laughs> yeah, how's it going? <laughs> There's no real intro or anything, we're just here. Uh, top of the morning to you? Please. Oh, <laughs> More. <laughs> Coming back. Come on, every Irish person says that. Why is there like a really raunchy, topless picture of Waluigi above the spawn? <laughs> top of the morning, guys. How's it going? My name is Kevin, and it is St. Patrick's Day. And me being Irish, of course, as you already know, I have to kind of rep the country, you know, I have to represent today. It's our day. Don't try and make it about yourself. Because <laughs> it's our day. This ought to do. Just, just for one video. Should be fine. I should just about get by. I mean, this is just for thirst. Now I can do it. I'm from Kent in England, but now I live in Kildare. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, that gets applause? Oh, hold on a second. I didn't realize it was that easy. Hello, I'm Kevin from Cark. Please clap. I'll thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Whew. Another day's recording done. Fabulous. Now I guess it's time to uh, catch up with the family and uh, watch some news, see what's going on in the world. I'm coming, Kevin Jr. I'm coming. All right, kiddo. Let's see what's going on in the world today. Let's watch some of the news. Good evening. You're watching the world news from Sky Tele What a day it had been for Mrs. Thatcher. Uh, Mr. Kevin. In the shallow, brackish... Closed circuit TV. Kevin was just absolutely horrified because... Of Kevin, morning, you ladies! Oh no, this is just depressing, kid. You don't want to watch this, honestly. You know what we need? We need some Irish news. There's nothing depressing about Irish news. Let's go watch some of that instead. Uh, you, you alright there, kid? 
Kiddo! He's, he's sleeping. <laughs> Babies. <laughs> Alright, let's go watch some Irish news. Last Saturday, Mikey Joe O'Shea brought his flock of Scotch sheep down from the mountain commonage ahead of lambing. Mikey is convinced over 45 sheep have been stolen. Well, there was 45 sheep missing, Mike, and the lambs, <laughs> and you're with the sheep just come. You see what I mean? You see, this is the problem with other countries. They're trying to report on sad stuff and, like, current affairs and politics. If you just talk about feckin' sheep, well, hold on. Let's not talk about feckin' sheep, all right? Uh, no, don't quote me on that. I'm talking about... If we just talk about sheep, everyone can get behind that. And I don't mean the sheep. Stop thinking that way. Get your mind out of the gutter. Let's see what else he has to say. I'm going to translate in real time for you. Just count out the nice bit of like. I'll translate the next part. I, he's even lost me there. Hold on, let's try that again. From the, from the top, let's go. 45 sheep missing, Mike, and the lambs, and you're with the sheep. Just count, just count out the nice bit of money, Mike. Tim be done about you, nothing. I think he's saying it's a nice bit of money and you can't do anything about it, I think. All right, I'll do the rest. I'll translate the rest. <laughs> nice day, isn't it, my son? <laughs> no, I've honestly lost him. What does Google have to say about this? Be done about you, nothing. Okay, I don't think Google knows either, but it's a better guess than me, honestly. I'm kind of impressed. Come back, come back, come back. Look, don't say come back to them. If I can't understand you, the sheep sure as hell can't understand you. Don't talk to them. In the meantime, one of the farmers is offering a 2,000 euro reward for any information Whoa. leading to the return of his sheep. Let's go get those sheep, guys. <laughs> That's good money if we split it between all 2 million of them. For some smuggling drugs. Oh, she is searching them now. Should have started doing that from day one. They wouldn't have got alcohol into your home. Harry! Yeah. Oh god, what have you found on Harry? Please. Oh, um... That's a paddling. <laughs> Wait, he's running away? Harry, this is Ireland. There's nowhere to go. <laughs> There's only fields. Once again, the cameraman just follows him ditching school. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> Mary's on the prowl. She's gotten worried. That cameraman snitched for sure. I don't know. What if I can't find him at all? Well, I mean, just ring the cameraman. <laughs> ridiculous, really. It's ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous, Mary. You're right. I'm looking for a 15-year-old boy, blonde hair, green uniform, St. Aidan's. See what the bank camera is. <laughs> He's gonna phone the police. There's some woman there looking for a 15-year-old boy. Sure ain't that illegal. Oh my god, I thought that was Mary coming in the car behind him. Could have hit and run him. Next time, stay in school. He'll have to deal with more than just disappointment with these parents. But what are they going to do to him? Is the death penalty legal in court? But if that wasn't enough, Mary's just discovered the bottle of wine Emily stashed under the mat. Oh no. Oh no, and Emily was just getting on their good side. Sorry, I'll give you my full attention now, Mary. She'd be furious if she saw me on my phone. It's ridiculous. You know, there's rules in this country about alcohol. I'm going to have to turn you in, Emily. <laughs> it brings us straight to the police. Well, I want you to learn from this week and, and learn that you don't need crutches like this to keep you going, love. I don't think she's using it as a crutch. <laughs> she's like 16. <laughs> this is not a typical Irish family. A typical Irish family would not pour alcohol down the drain. <laughs> I really just want to have a shower and just think. Jesus, cameraman, leave her alone. She's going to the shower. <laughs> John isn't the only one ready to see a change in Harry. His mum, Julie, has written him a letter. Why did she bother? She knows he's not going to write back. Probably won't even call her. Probably not going to call you either. How art thou, our dearest Harry? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> His mom is great. Dad and I want for nothing more than for you to be happy. She's so nice. I wonder what her husband is like. I think he's legitimately not said a word. Oh, he's gonna say something? Oh no, he changed his mind. There's something right on the cusp of his lips about to come out. And then he said no. Maybe later. <laughs> See you soon. My has a kid. Oh, that's dramatic. Look at that. It's really sinking in. Oh my god, it's worked. I don't think of myself as a horrible person. Maybe they just need to communicate in letters from now on. It's like a fucking Disney movie or something. Like one instance just changes the entire character. She's telling the truth that she did drink it on the way over here and didn't drink it while she was here. Let's give her the benefit of the doubt. If you've asked her about it, if she said that is the case, well, then yeah. we believe her. 
Yeah. Well, that's very mature. I thought they were just going to beat the shit out of her, to be honest. You see, this is the problem in other countries. They're trying to report on sad stuff and, like, current affairs and politics. If you just talk about feckin' sheep, well... Hold on. Let's not talk about feckin' sheep, all right? Uh, no, don't quote me on that. I'm talking about... If we just talk about sheep, everyone can get behind that. And I don't mean the sheep. Stop thinking that way. Get your mind out of the gutter. Let's see what else he has to say. I'm going to translate in real time for you. Just count out the nice bitch you like. Ah, yes. Hold music. <laughs> My second favorite genre, only second to royalty-free music. They're one and the same, really, I guess. Oh, we're getting another loop of it. How nice. Ah, that's good. This song slaps, too. Wouldn't mind breaking out a dance for that. You know, I will break out a dance for that. That's yeah. All right. Okay. This is a fun game. Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just... <laughs> It's like he tried to act cool and slipped. Where's he going now? He's just walking off, walking on sunshine. Poor Michael, he's so tired. He can't even stay awake during a cutscene. I can relate, Michael, honestly. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get, get in the car. Get in the fucking car. So I'm gonna feed him some jelly. Oh my God, he really likes jelly. Oh my God, he loves jelly. We may have lost, uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 20, 25 people, but I won't lose anymore. <laughs> These girls look psychotic. The audience look like demons. Howie Mandel looks like a bobblehead. And Derg looks like Derg. It's not only Elmo that's cooked up. <laughs> it seems like Sesame Street has a serious coke problem. Well, come with me. I'll take you there. <laughs> no <laughs> fucking way, dude. I want to see a farmer up there, like with a new crazy invention, like a potato, but like a smart potato that like tells you when to eat it or something. Something wild. <laughs> God, I should be a dragon. I want blue me to do well. I feel like he's a trier, God bless him. I want white me to win, and I want red me to die <laughs> in an automobile accident. <laughs> We're just going to be lighting some whiskey on fire. I mean... The recipe calls for something else, but I wanted an Irish touch on it, so that's what we're going to be using today. But first, let's see how it's doing. Wow! Kevin, that looks great! That looks amazing! You're not supposed to look at me. That's supposed to be someone else. Right, I guess we will leave that to cool. And in the meantime, let's get our flaming whiskey. Please don't fall apart, 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 please don't fall apart. It's falling apart. Okay, hold on, hold on. And you're done! Yeah, you just serve it like that and you get a little surprise. Oh yes, here we go. I feel like making a sandcastle. Oh, yummy! You could argue that it doesn't look exactly like is in the picture. But I would say better. Some would say better. I, I would say better. Now we just need to light it on fire. And realistically, that should be lit on fire. It's the only... It's the only reasonable thing to do. Well, now it's an upside down cake. As well as a, a baked Alaska, because that's not... That's not gonna survive going the other way. So that's how it is now. Why are you backing away? Why are you backing away? Some would say that's a bit too much. I'd say not enough to forget that thing. No, it's looking good. It's looking good. I might not need this. So the bubbles mean you're you're ready to, to light it up. You're ready to get it get excited. This is scary as fuck. Oh! Whoa! Alright, you might not be able to see the flames, but trust me, this is actually on fire. Wow! Now we're gonna taste it. We're gonna see how lovely this is. It looks amazing. I particularly like the look of this piece. The little bit in the middle that's kind of still full. If you just... A bit of tape on that and you're good to go. You gonna taste it? No. Why? <laughs> look at it. What, what do you mean look at it? There's no ice cream. It's gone. Well, it's in there somewhere. <laughs> it didn't not. just sneak out. Okay, I mean, really, what matters with a cake is the center. And if we look at that, 
that is look at this the flavor locked in here it's unbelievable you'll never come across that never come across that anywhere else it's just locked right in here you can't even see the ice cream it's locked right in it's locked right in it's locked right in there the, the flavor is locked the flavor is locked right in that's some good sponge who built like did the mods build these leprechauns and tato man or is that the fuck is wrong with his hand? Which Tato? Oh, <laughs> that is what my sleep paralysis demon looks like. Mr. Tato with his claw. <laughs> this is how you know it's a bad monument because the three Irishmen here took ages to figure out what this was. I fixed it. I put something on the top. Is it Jim? Yeah, it's Jim. <laughs> this oh, is his little head looking over the land. There, there's a potato on him. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, let's get the stereotypes like just raging while we're here. Whoa, you know? whoa. Oh, lads. <laughs> that is cursed. We, I think we're uh, breaking your server. Is it already dead? Like, people this haven't is, even started connecting yet. It's worse than dead. This is the most cursed thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God almighty. <laughs> it is the most cursed fountain ever. It looks like he's just spewing out the top of the spire. <laughs> oh, God. Chopping our, splicing our names together. So we have Call RTI, uh, RT oh. Sept Evan, uh, oh. Jack Me Game. Oh, that's my <laughs> Jack favorite. Jack Me Game. I like that one. <laughs> oh, <again>. no. <laughs> that's for the um, true beauty. Oh, no, that's what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Spent some time alone here earlier. <laughs> I give him a potato. Everyone sacrifice potatoes to the topless Luigi. Waluigi Jeez. even. I'm already starting oh, to think Jesus. this was a mistake. Like, one pork chop left. Oh, I think I should get it because I found the lava. Yeah, give it to him. Give it to him. I've got one. There you go. That's the last of my food. Dad Thank is you. way more cooperative if you talk to him with a bucket of lava in your hand. I don't know why. <laughs> you don't say. I'm trying to find you. No, there's skeletons everywhere. Oh, could you get me their bones? Found Pour the lava right Right there. Okay. <laughs> now what do we do? Okay. Okay. It'll it'll make diamonds in a second. It's gonna make diamonds. Right, pick it up. Ah, pick it up. Now, lad. Pick I it up. See his little face. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, oh guys, there's someone perfect. coming up. Ah! Oh, no. no, no. Dance. Oh, nice. I did something. All right. Let's go find some bones, lad. We're gonna do a bit of bone hunting. <laughs> a bit boning, as they call it. <laughs> oh, no. Let's We're go boning bone together. Let's go bone. <laughs> the lads go boning. There's the show I want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Get the, hey, hey, get the water! Hey, get the water! Hey, get the water! Hey, get the water! Get the water! I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. I'm just burning water? a little. Where's the water? Where's the water? I'm just burning. Where's this the water? This one. Ah! That was some good boning noises. That was good boning action. Are you sure it's a Netflix show you want or I thought Mother? The boning continues. Oh, oh, Jesus. Man, boy. Run! Run! <laughs> I'll get the lava! Okay. <laughs> oh shit, run! Run! They're all on fire and angry! There we go, there we go. I am I have a heart and a half. You have a heart and a half, alright, I'll give you that one, Jack. Go on. Where did he die? Oh, now we're really boned. <laughs> oh, That's him. The constant. Providence's top controller. Everything depends on capturing him alive. Oh, that's not my job. I'm a hitman, not a save man. <laughs> oh boy, I'm funny. <laughs> Golly gee. <laughs> oh, these look priceless. You, where do you think you're going? They're part of the gift bag. Get out of here. Can anyone please hide? No, they're mine. Get out of here. <laughs> they're my eggs. You'll never get them back. Oh god, I'll break them all before you can have them back. There we go. That's your last egg. You can kill me now if you want, but you'll never get your eggs back. Sir, have your will. I'm not too bad. Yeah, I'm just taking this to the Olympics. <laughs> yeah, I've been chosen to run the torch this year. Jesus Christ, I cannot resist clicking on that one. Look at it. It's terrifying. Students pitch Hickman line. Covers help children with discomfort. Okay, first of all, does that even make sense? <laughs> and second of all, that thing is not gonna help. The lines which the girls' covers are designed to house are used for the administration of important medicine. Gavin wants to know more about how the covers oh, work. Oh, okay. No, this is actually a good idea, actually. But why is the dummy so feckin' terrifying? Oh, yeah? Uh, how much? <laughs> Sorry, but it's just like... I, I, that was like the British version or like any other version. <laughs> it would have been like, this is a great thing you're doing. I, I absolutely love it. Can I just get down into the business side of things? Can we discuss like the cost price and what you expect to sell them for and what your gross profit is? The Irish one is just like, how much? <laughs> Individual packaging. So the parents know that they haven't been used before and that they are clean. Yeah, no, that was a concern. So, I mean, you've done all that. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's fantastic. I just get the feeling like when they're talking, like the dragons I'm talking about here, the, the five rich people who are sitting down with their stacks of money judging these people. I just have a feeling they don't know what they're talking about and they're trying to bluff their way through it a bit. Yeah. What do you want to use the 2000 for? 
Uh, a sewing machine would be the main aim that we would Wait, like. How much are they looking for? What do you want to use the 2,000 for? 2,000? Is that all they're asking for? Okay, yeah, they don't say it at the start. Thing. The show is probably like they're asking for so little, this will look really bad if we actually say it. So I, I'm curious how much, because if they are just looking for 2,000, this is ridiculous. Like, you're a feckin' multi-millionaires and these two young girls are trying to make a difference. Just give it to them. Captions look like this, so... I, okay, thanks. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Um, girls, I think what you've done is, is really thoughtful and inspirational. For me, just I, I think that it, it's, it's not scalable enough. And I'm going to declare myself for it. It's not scalable enough for her, apparently. 2K is too much for her, even though she's got like 50 on the desk in front of her. I think I think what you're doing is is, is very good, and I would like to make you yes. uh, an offer. Yes, good man. Those charities. I think that is the route that that, that you should you should go, and I think they would adopt you. Oh my God, he's going to adopt them. This is turning out even better than expected. But I think it's the time that he's investing. So big respect to him. He's our favorite one, whatever his name is. We're going to call him Beardy. <laughs> I need a more Irish thing. I I want to see a farmer. Call on him from Kildare. Oh God! Shout it at them. I like that. Don't talk to them. Talk at them. <laughs> ah, Jesus! He lost two already. Is that the the way he talked? Is that it? Oh God! I can just feel the like. What do I do with my hands? You know. <laughs> you can tell he doesn't know. I just I I, I don't know. Not for me. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> it's the most Irish thing ever. It's like ah, you're not for me. Ah, no bother. <laughs> Uh, Linda, what do you think? Lights on. Ah, oh, like he has his own leather jacket that'd work for the bike, so... <laughs> Imagine that! It's like, what do you think? How about you compliment us? Oh, he has a jacket. Oh, that would hurt. Carl, what will the girls think after they take a look at this? Oh no, he's prepared something. A video. Carl will be very good with the ladies. Oh, they're all going. Oh, they're all going. They hated that picture. Yeah, he has no real shame. And uh, he doesn't leave much shame. Oh no! His friends are trying to be like wingmen for him and it's it's having the opposite effect. Oh no, Kyle, this is a disaster. <laughs> what are we gonna do, Kyle? It's really creative, had the beer box protecting his head. I know it's tough in oxygen with the sun and all that. Oh yeah, that. of course, you need protection. But yeah. uh, it wasn't keen on all the girls. Sun protection. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I like that someone called him out. <laughs> she was just like, oh yeah, making a joke about that he would a box over his head, like a beer box. Like, oh yeah, protection from the sun. He took it in a dirty way, because of course that's his job. And then she hits him with the... Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> the little laugh and everything. Well, obviously he's not getting enough, ladies, if he's appearing on Take Me Out. <laughs> I'm never satisfied. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Why would you say that? And it looks like a good crack as well. Good crack. All right, nice one. Uh, I should. I should uh, clarify that. Good crack means like good fun. <laughs> Just so you're aware. They're not like, oh, he's a good crack. Because <laughs> that, that sounds wrong. Leathery sheets of rain lashed at Harry's ghost as he walked across the grounds towards the castle. Ron was standing there and do doing a kind of frenzied tap dance. He saw Harry and um, immediately began to eat Hermione's family. Some would call it a plot hole, I call it genius. You know, I'm beginning to understand why, like, Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk have been saying AI is the danger. Now I understand. <laughs> like, this is what it goes to immediately. It reads a nice wholesome book like Harry Potter. It's like, oh, that, that child should eat the other's family. <laughs> Ron's Ron shirt was just as bad as Ron himself. <laughs> So I'm, I'm taking it as Ron was wearing a Ron merchandise shirt or something similar. And that was just as bad as Ron himself. Just just in case you didn't understand that line, I just wanted to flesh it out for you. <laughs> if you... Oh, I'll try and do voices. If you two can't clump happily, I'm going to get aggressive. <laughs> Confess the reasonable Hermione. I don't know, I mean, she doesn't seem reasonable. She's already threatening to get aggressive if they don't clump happily. And I, I very rarely clump happily, to be honest. It's... It's difficult to clump and be happy. It's just one of those things. I mean, this book is deep, man. It's really making me think. Thinking about clump. I don't know what clump means. What? <laughs> what about Ron magic offered Ron? <laughs> it's like you're facing Voldemort and you just can't beat him and he's off the sidelines like, Have you tried Ron magic? <laughs> no, Ron. Ron magic is never helpful. Ever. To Harry, Ron was a loud, slow, and soft bird. Harry did not like to think about birds.
Jesus Christ, I cannot resist clicking on that one. Look at it. It's terrifying. Students pitch Hickman line. Covers help children with discomfort. Okay, first of all, does that even make sense? <laughs> and second of all, that thing is not gonna help. The lines which the girl's covers are designed to house are used for the administration of important medicine. Gavin wants to know more about how the covers oh, work. Oh, okay. No, this is actually a good idea, actually. But why is the dummy so feckin' terrifying? Oh, yeah? Uh, how much? <laughs> Sorry, but it's just like... I, I, that was like the British version or like any other version. <laughs> it would have been like, this is a great thing you're doing. I, I absolutely love it. Can I just get down into the business side of things? Can we discuss like the cost price and what you expect to sell them for and what your gross profit is? The Irish one is just like, how much? <laughs> Individual packaging. So the parents know that they haven't been used before and that they are clean. Yeah, you know, that was a concern, so, I mean, you've done all that, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's fantastic. I just get the feeling, like, when they're talking, like, the dragons I'm talking about here, the, the five rich people who are sitting down with their stacks of money judging these people, I just have a feeling they don't know what they're talking about, and they're trying to bluff their way through it a bit. Yeah. What do you want to use the 2000 for? Uh, a sewing machine would be the main aim that we would Wait, like. How much are they looking for? What do you want to use the 2000 for? 2000? Is that all they're asking for? Okay, they don't say it at the start. The show is probably like they're asking for so little, this will look really bad if we actually say it. So I, I'm curious how much, because if they are just looking for 2000, this is ridiculous. Like, you're a feckin' multi millionaires, and these two young girls are trying to make a difference. Just give it to them. Captions look like this. So I, okay, thanks. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Um, girls, I think what you've done is, is really really thoughtful and inspirational. For me, just I think that it's it's not scalable enough and I'm going to declare myself out. It's not scalable enough for her, apparently. 2K is too much for her, even though she's got like 50 on the desk in front of her. I think I think what you're doing is, is, is very good and I would like to make you yes. uh, an offer. Yes! Good man! Those charities, I think that is the route that, that, that you, should, you should go and I think they would adopt you. Oh my god, he's gonna adopt them. This is turning out even better than expected. But I think it's the time that he's investing, so big respect to him. He's our favourite one, whatever his name is. We're gonna call him Beardy. <laughs> oh, they're sending him to Cork! Fantastic, we'll take care of him. The traditional family, big on old Catholic values. Oh, very good. Mary's gonna slaughter him, I could see it in her eyes. The rules are quite straightforward. Out the Ten Commandments. Oh, John is not going to take any shit from them. These are okay. There's no artificial colouring. Oh god, the, the other two are not gonna fit in with their kids at all. <laughs> Do a cool intro for these kids, they deserve it. Like in a nice way, not a, not a mean way. <laughs> Prince! Oh, I thought they were gonna feed any of the other kids outside. <laughs> you have to earn your place in the house. <laughs> Once, I just said, damn it, damn it, damn it. Anyway, my parents got so angry with me and they said, you have to go outside and eat your dinner with the dogs because you're speaking like an animal. They made her eat outside because she said, Fucking hell, I gotta be careful. If John and Mary see me watching this, and I've already swore, oh, I'm so, I'm so screwed. There is no such thing as a bad child. You need rules, you need guidelines. He stole that out of Pokemon. There is no such thing as a bad child. John isn't as good as he seems, I think. I reckon for this family to try and change me, they're gonna have to try pretty fucking hard. Dude, you're gonna be eating with the dogs with words like that. I like how they didn't bleep the swear word, by the way, but they blurred his mouth. <laughs> That's the important part. You don't want the deaf people lip reading that sort of thing. Wipe that down your pants. Are you sure? Yeah. They're not gonna frisk you. What? Okay. He's hiding bottles in his pants. John's gonna beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Welcome to our house. Thank you. Go on, Ed. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna give you a quick frisk to see if you have any bottles in your old pantaloons. <laughs> beat him over the head with it, probably. So, Liz, we come down here because we heard you had an encounter with the Cherokee devil, the Sukaloo. I am not. Wait, sure she actually what the saw? Hell it was. The I Cherokee know, Devil, human. the Sukalu, Bigfoot of North Carolina. God, I'm sucking in a lot more information than I thought I was. And it stood real tall. But what I really noticed was with the eyes. Oh it no! Was, was oh like no! She's freaking me out. out. Okay, I gotta get more prepared for this. I can't just. I can't. I can't do this. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I feel better now. I'm hidden. Once you've seen it, you have no recollection of anything that happened until you was on the interstate? No recollection. Nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be lying. I shouldn't be laughing because it sounds, that sounds traumatic. I'm just thinking if that happened to me, like I blacked out and I, I ended up way down the road from where I was. I'd probably go to the doctor and not just go, must have been Bigfoot. <laughs> Maybe she did go to the doctor and she described that and then he was like, oh my god, it must have been Bigfoot. I got my license online. <laughs> it was just a PDF. I typed in my name and printed it off. <laughs> 
going to get some damn answers. I want to thank you, darling. All right, it was great meeting you. Anyway, now we're going to leave you alone in this forest where Bigfoot took over your mind and made you walk down to the river. Good luck. <laughs> and we're in here tonight to figure that out. You all right? Go after this son of a bitch. Let's go get a devil. Oh, I like that. Like, there is no talking to this the Bigfoot feller. They're gonna shoot him. It seems a bit mean, just because he's big feet. Like, I have big feet. Oh my god, they're coming after me. Control our minds. This will be on a doubt. The most dangerous Bigfoot. Also, if they're saying that he can control their minds, guns might be a bad idea. We just came across what I call honeysuckle domes. It's huge domes of honeysuckle. They're a perfect nest for this Bigfoot. How does he know yeah, that? <laughs> Look, they know way more than me. I'm not gonna make fun of them. Buck's gone. Oh, sweet Jesus. He's been kidnapped by the Bigfoot. Why would they split up? Have you watched Scooby-Doo? This is a bad idea. That's a zoinks from me. Buck! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait, can I, can I see that again? That was such a face plant. Buck! <laughs> God, like that, regardless if this show is like uh, scripted or not, that was a full on face plant. That is either severe commitment or it just was an accident. That is Oscar worthy. That's like, you know, when Leonardo DiCaprio broke the glass and he continued the scene anyway, even though he's bleeding. That's, that's like that. That slogan is feckin' amazing. Success breeds success. I'd invest for that alone. He's doing, he's doing the Lord's work here. Well, actually, no, he's, he's directly against the Lord's work. He actually wants to become his own god and he controls the genetics and, uh, and what uh, the breeding situation is. You know what? This is getting a pretty deep. I I'm investing. I'm in. I want a part of this the world you're creating. I'm going to have like hench cows. They're going to be feckin' massive. They're going to be able to bench two other normal cows. Like I'm sure it's a normal business, but like as a, a layman, it just sounds so freaking weird. <laughs> is it just you have an eye for them? Is that how it works or? Yeah, I, I, I'd like to think that I've inherited from my father and grandfather, you know, Dave. Oh, that's a nice thing to inherit. Okay. I like that, like, I, I got my height, like, I'm tall from my, my parents. But um, I guess being able to spot which which cow is genetically superior would have been... It would have been in my top ten, to be fair. That would have been nice to have, I think. The bull over here on the right, um, he's a bull called Perfect Storm. I actually spotted him when he was... What a name! Holy shit! That is an amazing name. Why didn't my parents call me that? Perfect Storm O'Reilly. <laughs> oh man, I would have been called me Perfect Storm. Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Perfect Storm. He's got great beef character, you know, of the breed. He's, he's up-headed, he carries himself. He, he's good looking and he knows that he's- <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, that is an amazing sentence about a bull. <laughs> He carries himself, he looks good and he knows it. <laughs> He's very beefy. For, um... He's very beefy, I agree. I want to be like that bull. I want to be beefy. He's a bull that really says, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to make fun of this guy because I'm sure this is actually a pretty good business. He's probably making a ton of money off this. Like, I know one thing and it's farmers, shit tons of money. But like, just from an outsider perspective, there's just something hilarious about a man saying that bull looks good and he knows it. <laughs> and you say, I'd like to, you know, buy some of Perfect Storm's Perfect Juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. Like, what? Oh, Jesus, I'm not gonna add anything. We're just gonna keep going. There's still, I'm only like halfway through this. Okay, keep going. Ta talk about his perfect juice more. Do you have a returns policy? What? <laughs> what? What is that kind of question? It's 40 euro. And how can you return it if you... I think you need to learn about the bulls and the bees, mister. But because I don't see any scalability in this business, because unless we get your juice and reproduce you all the time, what? Why does he keep saying shit like this? I think he's actually really into it. He's weird. <laughs> Reproduce you all the time. Why does he keep calling it juice? <laughs> Just say sperm. It sounds uh, way better, actually. What you're doing is something is something different, but I don't see the science behind what you're doing, and it's also trying to get a business based on the... On Beardy is really smart. Like, he sees the flaws in this guy's business, even though, honestly, I do kind of believe him. That I think he could walk into a bar full of a hundred bulls and he could find the attractive bull. I, I just believe him, all right? I think he's got a knack for it. But I understand where this guy's coming from. I think he knows what he's talking about. Nobody wanted to get their hands on Jude's bull semen. <laughs> 
Oh god, why did you have to say it like that? More, 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 like, regular, regular, more, 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 like, regular, regular, more, 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 like, regular, regular, more, 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 more